Buying your first cart can be daunting, but it needn't be. Here's a few tips to help you get on the right track. To begin with, we should mention that you don't need to go into purchasing a card completely in the dark. A reputable company such as KKC, based at Wilton Mill Cart Circuit, will be able to individually tailor a cart purchase to you, and can offer services such as single day rentals. These can be around £750 and include the rental of the full race ready cart, as well as someone on hand to help if anything should go wrong. This is an excellent choice if you want to try out a cart chassis before purchasing. The first and most important part of karting is the chassis. Without it, let's be honest, you'll be going nowhere. There are multiple options for getting hold of a chassis, but certainly the most complete option is opting for a rolling chassis. This enables you to get a chassis that is mostly complete, only requiring you to buy an engine kit, as well as the seat and tyres in most cases. Purchasing a rolling chassis provides a perfect foundation by allowing you to add the engine of your choice and other personalised components. A three-race old chassis can be found for around £2,200, or for a brand new chassis, an iArmy or Rotax Synergy Envy direct from the manufacturer will set you back around £2,500. The second most important part of the karting setup is the engine. There are a wide range of choices here, with Rotax, iArmy and Honda being the three main brands on offer. For a complete Rotax engine kit, prices can range anywhere from £2,900 to £3,200 depending on the series you wish to enter, whereas for a complete iArmy X30 engine package, it will set you back around £2,500 for a senior or junior engine. These packages include everything to get the cart moving, so while the list of parts is considerable, buying this kit saves a lot of time over buying parts individually. You'll also need to buy tyres for the cart, and these can vary in price. However, for example, a set of Comet X30 slick tyres will set you back around £180. Choosing the right seat is important, since a comfortable fit means you won't be potentially putting yourself at risk. Tillis is a manufacturer with a great deal of experience in the space and provide a range of seats. The Tillit T11 costs around £165 and comes in a range of sizes from Mini up to 2XL. Mini has a typical age range of 4 to 5 and the 2XL is designed for adults with a waist size of 42. Bigger sizes are available but XXL should cover most of the very largest drivers. Race wear varies greatly per driver but should always be purchased with safety in mind. Helmets, gloves, shoes and all of the race wear should preferably be purchased new to ensure the best possible condition. Prices for a full set of race wear vary from £400 for budget items all the way up to around £2000 for the full set. An Arai SK6 race helmet will set you back around £500, just as a benchmark. With all this said, buying a cart is a very customisable and personal decision. No single way is the right way, and whether you want to go new or nearly new, buying from a reputable seller is the single most important thing. KKC, based at Wilton Mill, are an excellent choice and can advise drivers on the best options for them. However, other suppliers and resellers are available. Do take note that all of the information provided here is readily available online and through karting suppliers. However, do take into account that advice online can vary wildly and you should always make sure to do thorough research before purchasing anything. The best option is to visit a karting supplier in person and get tailored advice to make sure you make a purchase you'll be happy with.